right? Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. You're absolutely right. You know, we talk about those thunderstorm threats, but most of this is going to develop much later tomorrow evening, we believe. It could develop in the afternoon for folks in the mountains, but otherwise, rain chances really start to get heavier for opportunities, not necessarily that it's going to be as widespread as we go into Monday. We think we're going to have some breaks in the action, but it does look like there's a better chance to see more rain this week than sunshine. So we've got this system that's sitting off the front. This is going to continue to bring in clouds and showers along our beaches. And with that, some of that beach moisture is going to return. So it was nice to have yeah, a little lower dew point action today. We were sitting in the 50s, lower humidity made it feel just a touch better out there in the upper 70s and low 80s. It's near normal this time of the year. Showers though here popping up along a front that is just sagging to the south and it's not doing a whole lot for us tonight. We don't have a ton of upper level energy, so a storm or two possible right along this border. We think most of these showers will continue to wind down Martinsville Stewart and starting to see a few things wind down over Cana as well as Kreitz. You can see here some moderate showers there, but most folks are going to remain dry tonight. We don't think that these showers will make its way into the triad. A few clouds though blowing up overhead and that has moved in from areas of Reedsville out through parts of the triad into Yakinville too. Showers and thunderstorms combined mostly to West Virginia, Virginia tonight. Tomorrow we could see a few showers and storms develop as we mentioned late evening, a few middle of the day for folks in the mountains and by Monday, mostly shower action, but a couple of thunderstorms also mixing in and we may even be much cooler from the 80s. We may topple into the upper 60s for Monday for more afternoon highs. 71 degrees in Greensboro. We've got you at 70 in Winston-Salem, 69 in Mount Airy. And we see those winds out of the east and northeast right now. As soon as we begin to see more of a steady easterly flow through the day, on Sunday, we start to see higher humidity and we're going to notice a few more clouds beginning to fill in 80 degrees for you in Ashboro, 80 Lexington. We had 81 officially for a high in Greensboro with 83 as well now in Burlington for that afternoon high with Danville. So those were our hot spots for the day. 61 degrees tomorrow morning. We take you all the way to near 80 degrees and a rain chance of only 20%. Most of our storm chances don't come in until much later. It may even be closer to midnight that we get things going. 61 degrees in the foothills with 79, but can't rule out a few of those showers beginning to develop for folks and more clouds too for the mountains once we get you into the afternoon. Better rain chances as we have some upslope flow and some isolated shower and storm opportunities there. You'll see one of our forecast models suggesting more of the showers and developing for folks along the Blue Ridge Parkway first. And this happens into the late evening hours and overnight into early Monday for folks in the Triad out toward Raleigh. A couple of good str strong showers, heavy thunderstorm activity possible in a few areas. Most of the Triad though, you're looking at showers and temperatures that could be kept down into those 60s. So cooler flow kind of pumping in that east northeasterly breeze and holding you steady into more of that cool wedge scenario that we had seen a lot of in early part of May, which was much cooler for us. All right, taking a look out there, you can see the seven day forecast will bring in temperatures that are right now expected to be in the 70s and eventually by middle of the week. Look at this 67 on Monday, 69 on Tuesday. So those two days looking a little bit more mild for now will get you back up to near normal end of the week. Drop rain chances down toward next weekend and may dry out for Saturday at 88 degrees.